Hi LEGO fans! Once again we've reached the most magical time of the year. We can start counting down the days to Christmas as we edge ever closer to the end of the epic disaster movie that was 2020. Every day until Christmas Eve, I'll be opening up every door on every LEGO advent calendar, including LEGO Friends, LEGO City, LEGO Star Wars and LEGO Harry Potter! There are 96 gifts in total and I'll be awarding points to every gift each day. The best gift gets 4 points, second gets 3, third gets 2, and if a calendar insults us with guff like this, they'll be lucky to get 1 point. I'll keep a running total, and on Christmas Eve, I'll be announcing LEGO Advent Calendar of the Year 2020. Advent Calendar of the Year 2019 was of course LEGO Harry Potter. This year they've upped the ante with a 10% increase in the park count. This is the 75981 LEGO Harry Potter Advent Calendar with 335 pieces. As we've come to expect, the box art is absolutely covered in spoilers. This year's theme is the Yule Ball, and along with a bunch of minifigures, we're going to get some music-inspired gifts. In particular, I do like the look of the Yule Ball printed tile. The Harry Potter minifigure, however, does give me a sense of deja vu. At least we have one of the Patel twins for some exclusivity. Over on the back of the box, we have even more spoilers. LEGO even seems to be revealing what's behind some of those doors. Speaking of doors, those are hidden away behind the flap on the back of the box. Alohomora! Inside we have a beautifully festive scene complete with 24 doors. The protective flap also doubles up as somewhere to display your advent calendar swag. We even have minifigure sized footprints in the snow. LEGO Star Wars was so close to winning last year, but ultimately my bias towards LEGO Harry Potter denied them the win. This is the 75279 LEGO Star Wars Advent Calendar. Compared to last year, the park count has gone up by 11% and the spoilers on the front of the box indicate a fine selection of minifigures. I bet you can't guess who's behind door number 24. It looks like we also get the usual complement of micro scale ships I won't be able to recognise. Let's pop these seals and see what's behind the flap. Uh, yeah, apparently my lightsaber isn't working. Hang on. This year we have a really nice festive image with the Millennium Falcon covered in Christmas lights on a forested planet. If I'm not mistaken, all of the doors are in the same place as the Harry Potter calendar. I'm definitely looking forward to checking out those Christmas jumpers. The flap is also decorated, giving you somewhere to show off your Star Wars swag. LEGO Friends actually put up a pretty good fight last year. Despite failing to include any string for the Christmas tree decorations, they still got third place. This year, however, the park count has decreased from 330 to just 236. We are promised an Emma Mini doll and three surprise figures. Will that be enough to make up for the pitiful part count? If you're rooting for the LEGO Friends to win, this could ruin your 2020. Whatever happens, I'm sure the rubber ducky is going to get some points. In a scene reminiscent of last year's calendar, we can see the LEGO Friends decorating a Christmas tree with the help of their animals. Zobo is also helping out, although he's too short to be useful. And sweet baby Jesus, we've got some kind of demented goblin with a lazy eye. Let's see if all the doors are in the same place on this calendar. Yes they are! The design on the fold-out flap is actually more decorative. I do like the fact that the footprints in the snow are mini doll footprints. Now I did think that LEGO Friends were being very good by avoiding spoilers. But if you check out the top of the box, they've pretty much given the game away. Perhaps next year we can just get a LEGO Belleville calendar instead. The 2019 LEGO City calendar did not do well. Hopefully I didn't get any of the LEGO City design team fired. This year they've raised the bar and increased the park count by a massive 46%. They also seem to be doubling down on minifigures. It's like LEGO City actually gets it now. What they don't seem to understand is the concept of spoilers. We've got a bunch of characters from LEGO City, including Daisy Kaboom, Duke Detain, Freya McLeod, Hull Hubs, Wheeler the Police Chief, and Rookie Partner. The design on the back of the box is colourful and includes a massive Father Christmas, and a helpful checklist so you know what to book the big red guy for. Let's see if we can find any more spoilers. Well, the minifigures are going to be no surprise, but at least we've got other stuff to check out. We also have a mini map of LEGO City, and hopefully we'll get some micro-scale vehicles to place on it. So which of the 2020 LEGO Advent calendars represents the best value for money? LEGO Friends is $30 or 20 Great British Pounds and includes 236 pieces. 
That gives it a price to part ratio of 12.7 cents. LEGO City has the same £20 or $30 price tag and 342 pieces. That gives it a price to part ratio of just 8.8 .8 cents. Moving up to the licensed calendars, Star Wars costs 25 Great British Pounds or 40 US dollars. With a part count of 311, that gives it a price to part ratio of 12.9 cents. The 2020 calendar from LEGO Harry Potter is the same £25 or $40 and has a higher 335 piece part count. That gives it a price to part ratio of 11.9 cents. So these calendars range from 8.8 .8 cents per part up to 12.9 cents per part. But as we know, not all parts are created equal and the sum of the parts will determine the winner. I think it's about time we opened up some doors. And so it begins. This year we're starting out with LEGO Friends and we're looking for door number one, which is right here. I'm sure it is going to be awesome because LEGO Friends always is. And of course, yep, starting off on day one, we have a mini doll. This is going to be uh, whatever her name is, um, Fred, Bert, um, yeah, that one. Um, yeah, I still can't remember her name. Hang on, it is... Yeah, this is going to be Emma. So let's put Emma together and take a closer look. So the first gift from the first door for 2020 is a Lego Friends mini doll. This is Emma who loves drawing, painting, photographing and apparently Ethan. Helping Emma to avoid bad hair days, she has this enormous hairbrush. This element first appeared in 1994 and was used extensively in Belleville sets. It's always a good day when you get a minifigure and an advent calendar, although technically speaking this is a mini doll. That said, it is a really nice example. She has dual moulded light blue and medium lavender legs with some detail for the boots. It's been a long time since I reviewed a LEGO Friends set because frankly nobody ever watches them. But I do like the moulded detail on the back of the mini doll for the pockets. There's also some really nice printing on the torso, which appears to be some kind of nightshirt. It's a really cute design with all of the stars and that sleeping moon. There's also printed detail on the back of the torso, but check out those arms. She looks like she's got rickets. The facial printing is really sharp, complete with novelty oversized eyes. Completing the package, we have a thick mop of black hair, which is made out of that squishy plastic we associate with mini dolls. My expectations for LEGO Friends this year have been set pretty low. Keeping that in mind, this is a really nice little gift. Will it be enough to win the day for LEGO Friends? We'll find out soon. Next we have door number one on the LEGO Star Wars Advent Calendar, which is looking like a real contender this year. Now where is number one? There it is. Let's see what the first gift is. Usually a minifigure. And no, not to, not this time. Uh, we actually have a, um, whatever that ship is, I will of course try and figure that out. We'll build it and take a closer look. Our first gift from the LEGO Star Wars 2020 calendar is the Quat RZ-1 A-Wing Interceptor. An Ultimate Collector Series version of this came out fairly recently, and this is a good micro-scale recreation. It has all of the important features like engines at the back, a pair of side-mounted cannons, and it even kinda sorta looks like the letter A. One detail I really do like is the gap in the mandibles at the front. Up at the top we have a cockpit made of a trans-clear cheese slope, and the ship just has a really pleasing profile. I really like the contrast between the red and the white, it just looks very sharp. I always look forward to seeing the original trilogy ships recreated in micro scale. This A-Wing is a perfect start. So our third door from the 2020 LEGO Advent Calendars is coming from LEGO City, and here we have door number one. Let's see what we're starting out with this year. We have a boat, I guess, or probably we should call it a ship, uh, just to be fair. That's quite a nice little thing, and it is a little thing, so let's get that built and take a closer look. So the first gift from this year's LEGO City Advent Calendar seems to be some kind of ship. I want to say this is an oil tanker, but it may well be some other kind of freighter. Towards the rear of the ship we have the bridge and some rather large indicator lights. Also at the back we have the smokestack. I don't think these things are going to be running on batteries anytime soon. I guess representing the cargo hold we have this hinged part. 
This is not in any way a bad gift, I just don't think it's a very memorable one, and it may struggle against the Mini Doll and the A-Wing. Finally for today, I saved the best for last, we have the LEGO Harry Potter calendar. So let's see what we've got behind door number one. Oh, there we go, we have a Harry Potter! So the LEGO Harry Potter team are starting strong and bringing out the big guns. You don't get any more A-list than the boy what lived, Harry James Potter! He previously appeared in the 75948 Hogwarts Clock Tower, and that may give the exclusive LEGO friends Emma a little bit of an advantage. At least it might have done until the Harry Potter team played their trump card. We have this fantastic 2x3 printed Yule Ball invitation. Harry's other accessory is a wand, and we actually get four of these on two sprues. Very generous LEGO! Harry is wearing the dress robes he wore to the Yule Ball in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. His partner to the ball was, of course, Pavati Patel. Harry's legs are the standard black minifigure legs, which are totally boring. The torso print is much more exciting, and shows Harry wearing a white shirt, white bow tie, black vest, and black dress robes. All in all, it's a pretty good recreation of what Harry Potter was wearing in the movie. Around the back we can see a little bit more detail with the creases and the robes hood. We can also see the trendy long haircut that Harry got only for that movie. The facial expression shows a more grown-up Harry Potter with the bushy eyebrows, spectacles, and lightning-shaped scar. The alternate expression is a corker and shows a rather more angry Harry Potter. As if a Harry Potter minifigure with wand and exclusive tile wasn't enough, we also have a table with a candle on it for some reason. It's a bit random, and I'm not sure it's going to get LEGO Harry Potter any more points today. Speaking of points, let's take a look at all of today's gifts. On the first day of Christmas, LEGO gave to us One Emma Mini Doll One Oil Tanker A Mighty Mighty A-Wing And a Harry Potter minifigure That is the first and last time I'm going to sing this Christmas. But of course the question is, which one of these prizes deserves the leg from the turkey, and which one should spend the rest of 2020 in quarantine with the elf on the shelf? Let's award some points! In last place and earning one point for the LEGO City Advent Calendar is this oil tanker. It's by no means a bad gift, it's just not as good as the other ones. Doing marginally better and earning two points for the LEGO Friends Advent Calendar is this Emma Mini Doll. Again, this is a very nice gift! But on a day when we get an A-Wing from LEGO Star Wars and a Harry Potter minifigure, the happy and bubbly Emma just wasn't quite good enough. In second place and taking home three points for LEGO Star Wars is the A-Wing Starfighter. I actually really like this, but not quite as much as the gift that came first. Today's winner and taking home four points is a LEGO Harry Potter calendar. It's always a good day when you get a minifigure inside an advent calendar, but I was a little bit disappointed that this was not an exclusive. That objection was easily overcome by the exclusive 2x3 printed Yule Ball tile. So we had a pretty decent start to day one of my advent calendar door opening thing. But do you agree with my scoring? Did Harry Potter deserve 50 house points for Gryffindor? Or do I need to go and have Christmas dinner with the Grinch for my dismissal of the oil tanker? Be sure to share your thoughts in the comment section below and you may get featured in tomorrow's video. Thanks a million for joining me for day one of my 2020 LEGO advent calendar door opening thing. Stay safe, and I'll see you bright and early on Wednesday morning.